Well, hello. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Help me, Liam Watson. You're my only hope. <laughs> now, what are we looking at here? It's hard to see, but this is actually two strings of lights. So we should get into two, two separate pieces first? I think they were probably laid out better when I took them out of this drawer. And then there were two times where I went like this. And then, as, as, as with most problems, it got worse before it's gonna get better. So I have this problem and I know that you teach something called knot theory. Yeah, that's right. So um, my name's Liam Watson. I'm a professor of mathematics at UBC. And right now I am teaching a third year course called Introduction to Knot Theory. And is this anything like what you teach? <laughs> um, this is more complicated than, than, than what I teach. If I hear knot theory, mm -hmm. this is what I imagine. It might be. We don't know yet because we haven't looked Close, more closely at this, but let's let's think about what, what a knot is in general. The knot in, in math is gonna be some loop of string, which I'll tie together in some complicated way. I haven't decided how yet. Um, and then the the ends get joined together. We can already derive some, some optimism here. I'm pretty sure the two, that the ends of these are not connected to one another. So even though we just learned that there's this whole discipline called knot theory and it's based on having the ends tied up, if I'm allowed, as mm -hmm. you are, to undo the ends, then we at least have some hope. There must be a way to undo it because I've broken the knottedness. All right. Okay, so we can, <laughs> we, so we have, we have the hope. We just have to keep faith and, you know, try to handle your tangled mess. Can we imagine this as an equation? Is that um, it? I would, uh, so, n no, <laughs> you know, the problem is we know theoretically that if I, pull, if I pull these straight, then the mess should be obvious and then I should be able to simplify that mess by pulling things back, back through. But the act of pulling it straight makes this mess tighter and tighter and harder and harder to see what's going on. And, and then the, that's when the geometry of play starts to really conspire against us. So would it be better to make the problem feel bigger like we did? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. right. Make it worse. Make, right, is, that, is this making it worse or making it better? Know. I feel a lot better. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> what if we plugged one of them in? Oh, that's a great idea because as long as they both work, one of them is going to light up and that then I'll be more convinced that there are there are two strands. <laughs> and you can see the difference between the two lights, right? Yeah, actually, that's, now you're thinking like a mathematician. You're doing, you're doing I'm better I'm thinking like a math. No one has ever <laughs> said that to me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, you see this big mess mm -hmm. and this thing over here? Yeah. But this, it gets a lot better if we just get this through there and there's a whole bunch of the interaction between that thing <gasps> and that. You see, oh. that, 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 so sometimes these moments happen where you're like, oh, wait, now I believe that this will get simpler. We can ignore this mess for a while, and that's a smaller mess than we started with. I think oh, that's I my see. Point. That's my point. We sort of had a divide and conquer approach here. I just need just the right amount of encouragement to get these stars out of the way, and that will happen. Knots are really uh, a baby case of, of, of an important principle of how it is that an object can live in, in three-dimensional space, or how is it that a two-dimensional kind of object can live in four-dimensional space? And, and these kinds of questions have driven a lot of mathematics, and it turns out that thinking about knots is a good way to get involved in that, and it's also uh, turns out to be the right object to think about when you're trying to solve problems in those more high-dimensional settings. Okay, great, so <gasps> here we go. Two <laughs> distinct components, thanks to your ingenious <laughs> invariant called plug one of them in. This is gonna be now, oh, now well, I've you, got this. Because attitude is everything. You just have to, you see, it's going to be easy. It's as hard as it was before. No, see, now you know, it's. Attitude is everything. Oh yeah. I think I just made things a little worse. I but doubt it. You have so much faith. That's really what's buoying my confidence right now. Look at this. This is a cat's cradle disaster, isn't it? But it does feel like you're onto it. Yes. Progress comes in, in surprising leaps and bounds. There, look at that. That is so much progress. Yeah. Look it in. Now we're going to really see the Christmas yeah. miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! I have no suggestion for how to put them away so they don't get tangled. <laughs>